Hi Capricorn and welcome back. This is your romance uh, monthly romance reading for June and I'm using two of my favorite cards and the romance card and the angel card, the angel feather card. So if you need support, you can call upon your angel. Now I'm using uh, two of my favorite decks as the major storyline and to get the story out of the two tarot decks. Okay, now um, welcome to the, the channel. If you're new, please subscribe and hit the bell on all and then um, you'll be notified when I go live or when new videos are loaded up. And welcome back to my Cyber Angels for their faithful following and clicking and sharing uh, all the videos. Thank you. And if you have followed me before and you've seen the weeklies for the 25th to the 31st, then you know there is a competition coming up and you can win the um, uh, deck, uh, the Shadow, the uh, Shadowlands Tarot, or the Visa Versa deck. Um, this is used, but the Shadowlands will be brand new. That is with compliments of the publishers. So, if you need a one-to-one -one, um, reading, then please go to the website. You can do that by clicking in the little um, white circle and it will take you there and the information on the competition will be updated or uh, uploaded this coming week. And you can go below the video and there you can find all kinds of information as well. But I will be uh, announcing uh, updates with regarding to the competition uh, under the community button. The first card that we have is the Two of Swords. You are too much in your head the first week and in the first week of June. This could also be in the end week of May. Okay. And two is significant, so you're out of balance because you're too much in your heart, uh, head. You are most probably also um, uh, shut yourself off emotionally with your heart um, as you are up in the air about something in your relationship. If you are hooked up, if you're not hooked up, that could be the issue. So open your heart by removing those two swords, open your heart, open your solar plexus and take off that mask and look in front of you and not only in front of you but around you. Then you can see more, then you can see who's around, what's happening, then you can catch new ideas, you can see new things. Now you've got the four of ones, so perhaps some of you are not seeing that good things are around you. The four of ones means a wedding. This could be yours and you're not willing to see it. That there could be a wedding taking place or a proposal being made to you. Or perhaps you should do the proposal if you want to get married. Perhaps it's taking too long for you, for the other half to ask you to marry them. So do it yourself. Make a celebration. Get, get a proposal done. Or you might be going to a wedding and you'll meet friends there. You'll be networking and you might meet somebody at this wedding or celebration if you're not hooked up. This could happen in the first week. If nobody, no wedding is taking place in the first week, then you might get an invitation in the first week of June. There's always a lot of weddings happening in June because it's supposed to be some magical month about it. <laughs> and in the second week, you have the Ten of Cups. So look, and it could be with a Cancer because I'm seeing a Cancer. So there could be a water sign involved. Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. The Ten of Cups means emotional happiness. Well, it's also lying very close to the Ten of Wands. 
and the four, and the ten of four of wands. I mean, it is lies next to the ten of cups. The four of wands means also stability, emotional stability, emotional found, uh, uh, foundations, good foundations, sturdy foundations. You might have just moved into a new home, or you might you didn't see it coming uh, in, and you you were blocked off. But I think you have accepted a proposal or made a proposal, like I said, as a new beginning. A ten is an ending, and there's a new beginning. You might have bought a home together or moved in together. Now you've got the nine of ones. Things have been tough, and um, but they did come in, They did come to an end. You were in transition mode. Look at the butterfly. You were thinking. She's pausing there to think, and to rejuvenate before she actually goes to on to that new start. So things might have been tough and could be tough in the second week, but good things are going to happen to happen because you're going from a 9 to a 10. In the third week we've got the 6 of pentacles. So the 6 of pentacles might mean that somebody from the past is coming back and giving you a present. This also reminds me of um, thinking about good memories in the past. Perhaps you were married to somebody in the past and they might be coming back because they heard that you had started up a new beginning, perhaps with somebody new. But they, this person from the past, they could be uh, a Capricorn, but they could have had also bad habits or addictions. So don't go back there, stay out of other people's dramas. Uh, although you had good times, remember you didn't leave them for uh, nothing because they might have had bad habits or they might have um, had uh, issues with uh, uh, addictions like domineering, uh, manipulation or other uh, habits like drinking or drugs. It doesn't have to be the devil. Then usually they say the devil stands for drugs and alcohol, but there are other addictions, okay? And you've got the devil twice, so be careful around the third and the fourth week. Stay away from somebody's drama, okay? You will know what it resonates to, Capricorn, and at the in the fourth week you will have um, an also an offer and like I said it could be an offer from an ex that is a Capricorn as the devil stands for a Capricorn or somebody with bad habits and here we've got the cups so it could have been alcohol they will give you bring you news okay it could be a young person that brings you news now the overall energy um, Capricorn is you've got the three of ones. You are right in the right spot at this moment. Like I said at the beginning, you cannot see it. You might be uh, in your head. You might have crossed or uh, shut out the world uh, from your heart or your solar plexus and you've been making plans. Perhaps you've met somebody else or seen somebody else that you fancied and that could be the Page of Cups and the Page of Cups is Pisces. It could be a Pisces that your eye has fallen upon okay? and you've been making plans and like I said if you're not getting the proposal from them then do the proposal yourself. Perhaps you've been planning this all along because this is the overall energy um, for the month and uh, you've got the five of cups usually it says oh means don't cry over spilled milk don't look back to um, the 
past. You can only change the future and the present, and that is the message that I'm clearly uh, getting here. And look, celebrations again underneath this card. So there are celebrations, but you are the one that has to instigate or start or activate or be motivated to make the change to what you want, you wish. You know that you shouldn't go back to what is negative. Don't go back to negative energy or other people's drama. You're free of it now, so go into something new. This could be with a Cancer. It could be with an other Capricorn, but you have emotional happiness and balance, so long you get out of your head and open your heart and solar plex. Now the play uh, from the romance deck, you have playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Yes, don't be too serious and don't be too scared. Open that heart of yours, okay? Don't be too scared. Be playful and be serious when you have to. Be. Now you've got the ruby angel feather, two hearts sealed as one. Again, a two. So that is beautiful. You have found your soulmate. That is what it feels like. The angels have heard your prayers to meet your soulmate and are here to inform you that this person will arrive in your life very soon. The ruby angel feather is presented to you as a symbol of passionate love. You may ask, how will I recognize my soulmate? The angels say, the answer is simple. When you glance into their eyes, you will experience a knowing. Instantly you will recognize them and make a soul level recon um, re reconnection. Reconnection, that could be the six. Reconnection. On a subconscious level, you will remember that you made a contract with this person prior to your incarnation. From this moment onwards, you will feel totally understood, secure and warm whilst in their presence. Divine love will shine down on your two hearts. Okay? Now, you might be a soulmate and you might of um, uh, agreed to this contract before you came to down to earth or reincarnated, but it doesn't mean to say that you have to be somebody's slave and be hurt by somebody else or be manipulated by somebody else. That is not, that was not meant to be in the contract because everybody is an individual and nobody belongs to anybody. You belong to yourself. You've made a contract for equality and equilibrium and love. Now the angel that is associated with this card is Archangel Uriel. He's the angel of of presence, whose name means Light of God, often depicted holding a scroll which contains information on your life path, and that could be it, but nobody, um, how do you say it, nobody gets a, 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 a program of the concept of life, and that's what a saying we have in Holland, in other words, when you buy uh, a tool, you get directions, you get how to use the tool, um, the information, how do you call it, index. You get an index of information on how to uh, use the tool or uh, put the cupboard. If you buy something from IKEA, then they give you an instruction list. You don't have an instruction list in life. It's being one with the spirit and the angels and also uh, listening to your intu intuitiveness, your gut feeling, opening your heart, dare to open your heart and to feel, to laugh and cry and by falling down and standing up, brushing yourself off and continue. That is how you learn. 
and Uriel is also the rooting angel, uh, the root chakra angel. Now the crystals that you can wear to help you is ruby, sinsite, garnet, and iron quartz, and or you can meditate on the ruby color. You can wear ruby. You can eat red fruits. That is what you can use to get less stressed and stand in your power. So don't let don't let yourself be dominated or ordered by somebody. Stay away from people's drama. Be happy and celebrate life. I hope you've enjoyed this love reading. Good luck and I hope you have a beautiful relationship or will be getting a beautiful relationship. Take care. Please like and share and come into the live Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And keep an eye on the website and then and join in in the competition. Take care and be blessed.